<coughs> Lean, also known as Purple Drink, Scissor Bar, and Texas Tea, among other names, is a concoction of cough syrup, soda, hard candy, and in some cases, alcohol. Originating in Houston, Texas, it's typically served in a white styrofoam cup. The term lean comes from the position it tends to put you in after drinking it. How did it become so popular? After have been misusing codeine, a main ingredient in lean, for ages, but lean's prominence in pop culture has made it more popular than ever. Rappers, and Justin Bieber, have been singing its praises in songs and dying or having seizures from it since the late 90s, though it seems to have first appeared in the 70s or 80s. Here's a highlight reel of Moline's more specific claims to fame and pop culture. Reports suggest it's a major factor in Lil Wayne's ongoing hospitalizations for seizures. Bow Wow recently opened up about almost dying as a result of his addiction to lean. The late Mac Miller also described dealing with an addiction to lean in 2013. The rapper Two Chains was arrested at an airport for possessing rumethazine. I think I stepped <laughs> at the key lean ingredient. Then there are the high profile athletes whose lean related suspensions and hospitalizations continue to make the headlines. What's in it, exactly? The most commonly used ingredients are a prescription cough syrup that contains the opioid codeine and the... Uh... I'm gonna try to... I'm not even gonna try to uh, pronounce that. The cough syrup is mixed with soda and sometimes alcohol. Some people add, also add hard candies, especially Jolly Ranchers, to the mix. Other use over-the-counter, OTZ, cough syrup containing DXM instead. Since OTC cough syrups no, no, no longer contain alcohol, people usually add their own alcohol to the OTC version of lean. Other variations of purple drink involve a combination of codeine tablets added to a cough syrup and soda. The amount of each ingredient varies, but to get the desired effects a lot more than the recommended or safe dose is used. Is it legal? Yes and no. It, the Drug Enforcement Administration classifies codeine as a Schedule II controlled substance when it's a single ingredient. It remains a lesser but still potent controlled substance when mixed with other ingredients. All products containing it are only available with a prescription due to the risk of misuse. The, con the distribution or manufacturing of it without a license is illegal. Cough syrups containing codeine fit fall to the risk of misuse category since activists, considering to be the best of codeine cough syrups by lean users, was taken off the market to its popularized misuse. DXM cough syrup is available without a prescription, but some states restri restrict the sale of it to people over the age of 18. What does it do? Lean creates a feeling of euphoria and relaxation that makes you feel dreamy, almost like you're floating away from your body. It acts on your central nervous system, CNS, and slows your brain activity for a sedating effect. While some people may enjoy the euphoric effect of lean, it can also produce other less than desirable and even downright dangerous effects in high dose, including hallucinations, extreme sedation, Loss of coordination, high body temperature, nausea and vomit, vomiting, itchy skin, severe constipation, changes in heart rhythms, respiratory depression, dizziness, seizures, loss of consciousness. What happens if you add alcohol? Combining alcohol enhances the effects of the codeine and DXM. While it may seem like a good idea to get higher, it's not a great idea. Short-term uh, short effects of adding alcohol to lean include trouble breathing, drowsiness or sleepiness, delayed motor skills or reaction time, poor judgment, and brain fog. Once you're plus, your chances of overdosing are a lot higher when you combine alcohol with codeine or DXM. What about other interactions? Lean can also have a harmful inter 
Lean can also have powerful interactions with other drugs, including some OTC medications. Lean can intensify and prolong the sedative effects of other CNS depressants, including narcotics such as ox, uh, something, fentanyl, and morphine. Sedatives and hypnotics such as, uh, uh, some and, uh, another thing. Heroin, cannabis, MDMA, also known as Molly or Ecstasy, Ketamine, also called Special K, Sassafras, also called Sally or MDA, OTC, Cold Medicine, something, Sleep Aids, uh, NAOIs, and Mood Stabilizers, like, uh, any convulsions and antipsychotics. We may also interact with her herbal remedies and the supplements, including natural sleep aids such as val valerian root and melatonin. Like alcohol, all of these things can intensify the impact of lean on your CNS, resulting in potentially life threatening side effects. It doesn't have any long term effects, quite a few actually. Liver damage. Something a common common ingredient in coffin cold medications have been linked to liver damage when you take more than the recommended dose or drink alcohol while taking it. Remember, lean involves using weight more than the recommended dose of cough syrup. High amounts of uh, something. Uh, and other drugs can prevent your liver from properly metabolizing chemicals, leading to excessive amounts in your liver. According to the Food and Drug Administration (FDA), prescription and OTC drugs are the leading cause of acute liver failure. Signs of liver damage include yellowing, yellowing of your skin or the whites of your eyes, right-sided or abdominal pain, nausea or vomiting dark urine, dark territory schools, and fatigue. On their own, codeine and alcohol can also cause liver damage when you ingest more than the recommended dosage. Withdrawal symptoms. Purple drink contains ingredients that are habit forming. This means that you can quickly develop a tolerance and independence to it. In a nutshell, you'll need more of it to get the desired fix and feel lousy when you don't drink it. Common withdrawal symptoms include irritability, sweating, trouble, sleep, trouble sleeping, and restlessness. Yeah, other long-term effects. Lean can also cause a number of other long-term effects, including brain lesions that can cause memory loss, behavioral changes, and cognitive impairment, permanent, permanent psychosis, and epilepsy. Is it addictive? Very. Just about every active ingredient used in every variation of lean can increase the amount of dopamine in your brain's reward system and lead to addiction. Unlike dependence, which involves your body simply getting used to acceptance, addiction addiction results in cravings and a complete loss of control over use. Signs of lean addiction may include the following. You need more of it to get high. You can't stop drinking it even though it's negatively affecting your life, like hurting your relationships, school, job, or finances. You crave it and think about having it constantly. You drink, you drink it as a way to cope with your feelings or stress. You have withdrawal symptoms when you don't drink it. These withdrawal symptoms include nausea and vomiting, insomnia, stomach cramps, diarrhea, loss of appetite, Enlarged pupils, shakiness, fever and chills, and body pain. Can it kill you? Absolutely. There are many cases of people who've died from lean, either due to overdose or complications caused by long-term use. Some high-profile cases of this include deaths of rappers DJ Stu, Big Mo, Pimp C, and Fredo Santana. CNS depressions <laughs> from drinking high amounts of lean can slow or stop your heart and lungs. The risk of a fatal overdose is even higher when you mix it with alcohol. Warning signs. Unlike some other drugs, there aren't many ways of, to make it 
to make using lane less risky. If you or someone you know are planning to on using lane, you need to know what overdose signs and symptoms to watch for. Overdose signs and symptoms. Call 911 right away if you or someone else experiences nausea and vomiting, confusion, blurred vision, hallucinations, blue fingernails and lips, trouble breathing, low blood pressure, weak pulse, seizures, loss of consciousness, or comas. You may be scared to call for help if you've been taking an illegal substance, but early treatment could prevent permanent damage or even death. From Healthline.com Getting help Developing an addiction to lean is totally possible. Remember, one of its main ingredients, codeine, is an opioid. This type of drug with a high potential for dependence and addiction. If you're concerned about your drug use, there's help available. You can bring it up to your healthcare provider if you feel comfortable. Keep in mind that patient confidence something will prevent them from reporting this information to law enforcement. You can reach out to uh, one of the following free confidential resources. SAMHSA's National Helpline, 800-662-HELP, or online treatment locators. From Healthline.com, thank you.